Hello, Uranium friends. UEC, Uranium Energy Company. A lot of people don't like the CEO, whatever, right? So, you know, the commonality in this space, for God's sakes, men, women, children, monkeys, dogs, cats, moving average rider, right? So UEC is no exception. So the equities, you're going to start to see the equities. They just do... They all do the same thing, you know. Let me just look at the weekly just quickly. Okay, yeah. So we'll we'll go back to the weekly. Uh yeah, the daily. Um, you know, this green line here is a major breakout level. So and we can catch it on the monthly. You know, it's over here on February two thousand and eleven. Is that that's the level it broke. So, you know, twelve, thirteen year level it's taken out. Uh, yeah, so the breakout and the retest, okay? So, but, you know, you, you've seen the retest now start to fail. And, and that's a little bit of a red flag for the name at the moment. You know, how long does it last? Who knows? You know, URNJ is a little bit stronger. This is like the number one holding in there, right? So, um, strength in URNJ, uh, we'll see continued strength in UEC. And you actually, all three of the ETFs, it's the top holding. So, um, you know, that's just the way it's going to go. Uh, with, there's a gap that needs to be filled. Now, I have puts. I bought some puts. I don't know where the heck I bought them, but uh, I bought seven, uh, 750 strike puts. They're in the money. Uh, I sold some. I trimmed some out. Uh, I think I cut half my position at like whatever it was, like a 40 or 50% gain. I'm looking for this uh, gap fill uh, to complete, hope, hoping, right? And, um, I'll get out of those puts and I'll be looking to add uh, to the position. But, you know, there's still a gap to be filled here. And, you know, I'm not expecting it, but, you know, it's it would make sense that it fills. I'm just trying to see if there's any other gaps that, you know, uh, well, this gap still hasn't filled. You know, eventually, I know people are going to say I'm nuts, but eventually this gap will probably fill. Uh, it'll be a long way away. And I will likely not even be paying attention to the space at that time. Uh, but you never know. Uh, so regardless of that, uh, you know, I, I would be shocked if this gap doesn't fill. But, you know, what the hell do I know? Um, you know, daily 12 EMA is now acting as resistance. And the breakout level, which it back tested and then failed, is now acting as resistance. Could there be an undercut there? Yeah. I mean, because there's a gap, the gap helps you. <clears throat> the gap could say the under, the gap is saying the undercut can go further. Uh, URNJ could say otherwise, right? And now that we have URNM and URA that have already filled the gap, uh, you know, there's always the possibility that this just does not fill right away. Um, but that's that. Uh, weekly chart, okay? Clear as day. Technical analysis doesn't work, right? Well, it does here. Everything's, it's riding. It's just a rider. And it's the same deal. If you look at my other videos with the uh, ETFs, they're all doing the same thing. The space is doing the same thing uh, as far as riding these moving averages. So, you know, the, here's a good pivot, a solid pivot. Here's a solid pivot. Here's a solid pivot. Uh, we're looking for the same deal. You know, you can run the fibs on here. I can tell you this is probably going to be close to the 50% retracement. Let's just look to be precise, right? So bounced off the 50% retracement area, which is the 5 EMA. Golden pocket down at this level, at this volume shelf, where these um, uh, the, the, the weekly 12 and the 50-day moving average are, and I would say it probably fills the gap. Yeah, I mean, the the golden pack, uh, golden pocket is right at this gap fill. So, yeah, I cut half of my puts, and uh, I'm relatively risk-free on them. So if this thing just changes its trend right away, uh, I can get out of those puts, and, um, you know, no harm, no foul. Make a little bit of money hedging against my... Uh, long position that I'm holding works works okay. Uh, I'm not the biggest. I, I I don't like shorting this sector, um, especially in situations like this. You know, I could short this sector uh, if it loses its trend. And when I say loses its trend, it loses its trend, right? So, you know, it's a perfect example. Uh, 
moving average rider on the weekly. Lost it. Good, solid short right there, right? So that would have been a solid short. It's a, You don't have to be a hero. I, I'm like, I'm not trying to be a hero up here on this stuff. I can be the hero here. This was just a um, a hedge. You know, if it continues down and loses this trend, uh, my puts are going to be fantastic. Uh, but, you know, UEC is being very resilient uh, through all of this. It's, it's really just grinding down, but, you know, making new lows. That's what it's doing. So no red flags yet. A little bit of the yellow flag comes out because it is 50% retracement has been tapped. Uh, I'm really looking over here. So UEC, I will be a buyer. I want more UEC. I want more trading shares. Uh, seven, get get to seven with the gap fill. And uh, you're going to have me as a buyer for sure down in this area. Um, because I consider it low risk. There's a, there's a level to play off of right here. You know, 662, it's a level to play off of. So, you know, seven, 760, 770, 70, uh, 670 area to the 7 area, uh, I'm a buyer. You know, it's just the way it is. No sign of any monthly consolidation since May of 2023. Are we due? Maybe. Uh would a consolidation down to 518, where the tw monthly 12 EMA is, would that be healthy? It absolutely would be. Would it still be a bull flag? Absolutely would be, right? So you could get a monthly bull flag. That would be a pretty big consolidation, right? $2 consolidation on a $7 stock. Uh, to this 12 EMA, right where this volume shelf is, right where we've had some previous dances in that area let's go back on the history yeah same thing right right in this area right where this area was um you know markets have memories they remember levels okay stop listening to people that say technical analysis doesn't work if the people that say it doesn't work are the ones that don't know how to use it they have no idea okay and they see other people predict things they say oh it's going higher it's going to go lower, blah, blah, blah. Don't do any of that. Stick with the basics. Understand that the, these key historical levels, and you got good, simple technical analysis to work off of. But regardless of that, uh, very healthy consolidation all the way down to this $5 area on the monthly chart. Again, you know, we talk about monthly wicks. These names don't wick out that much monthly, but when they do, there seems to be a decent amount of follow-through. We're wicking. We wicked here. Some pretty strong follow-through. Wicked here. 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 Monster follow-through. So, you know, pay attention to the wicks on the monthlies in, in the uranium space. That's all I'm saying. Because they tell you something. They're telling us something. Historical RSI levels. Is it there? Yeah, it's pretty close. A little bit more room? Sure. Okay, a little bit of an RSI divergence? Eh, whatever. You know I'm not a big RSI guy, but I do pay attention. And uh, that that's what I'm getting out of UEC right now. I'm looking to come out of my puts. I'm really hoping that the gap fill is the spot to do it. Because as I come out of my puts, I will probably be um, adding to my longs there. Uh, likely some calls and some physical um, in general. Okay, so that's UEC in a nutshell. We still have a gap to fill. Um, we still have a weekly bull flag. We still have a monthly bull flag. Uh, it's strong. It's fantastic. Let's look at the hourly and see if it's done anything. Have we gotten an hourly trend change? No, we're, we're just kind of working sideways now, right? So uh, it's still going down. You know, you got the sideways stuff. It's one heck of a, a, a draw down there. You know, uh, hourly RSI is getting some divergence, right? Not much, but it is getting a little bit. Just show you what it looks like. A bit of an RSI divergence there, right?
uh, RSI Divergence players will look at that and go, okay, well, maybe I should start scaling in, whatever. I don't do that. It's a four-hour bear flag. Um, you know, good fake out here. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, there's nothing that's indicating any super short-term strength to me at the moment. And uh, same deal, like the reason why I didn't cover my uranium uh, URNM sold puts, you know, I took a, I already took profit on, on my, uh, on my puts here. Sorry. URNM sold calls. I already took profits on my, um, UEC puts. So, uh, I'm pretty comfortable in that spot in this daily confirmed downtrend. Uh, and that's where we're holding, but you, you know, just like everything else, the space is strong, but you know, it's due. Everything is due, right? We got this move and a great back test uh, monthly move. So, but, you know, first signs of some sort of midterm intermediate correction are these wicks. And UEC tells you when it wicks on the monthly, you know, you could be in for a little bit more of some consolidation. So that's the kind of the way I'm looking at it now. But my buying target and my put covering target is right around seven bucks, right? And hopefully get this gap to fill. You know, I might go a little bit sooner. Sometimes the gaps get front run. I mean, it's getting front run. The past two days, this gap has been getting front run. So um, we'll see. You know, oftentimes gaps will act as some support for a bit before they get filled. Uh, you know, I'm not saying it gets filled, but, you know, no other gaps have, you know, filled its gaps everywhere else is that a gap i don't think so nope that's not a gap a gap got filled right away uh yeah so you know this gap ha hasn't gotten filled ever since uh june 2023 that gap hasn't gotten filled um you know and i've been literally riding a position up all, all the way up here and i still have it you know i've been selling and selling some calls and buying some calls and doing whatever so but my next target will be in this area for buying and it's the same thing you could probably after watching the the last couple of videos um you can probably take a look at whatever chart you want to look at in the uranium space and i would say the majority of them are doing the exact same thing which is riding the tw weekly 12 ema and the 50 day moving average that's what they're doing right so Take that however you want to take it. UEC, there's my targets for buying. Uh, it will be on this gap fill or even maybe close to it. You know, again, sometimes these gap fills get front run. But, you know, with this gap, you also have a big gap in the volume. So, you know, you're going to start running into some strong support down at this level. Uh, do I know if it's getting down there? I don't know that at all. I'm going to actually put my alert over here. Gives me a better, maybe even, I'm going to put my alert in when I know the gap is filling. So if that alert goes off, I know the gap is filled, um, which any of you guys can do. You know, take that, put your charts on your alerts or whatever. All right. So over and out, UEC, looking for the gap fill. I'm in puts. I have long positions. My puts are just hedging, trying to just squeeze the juice uh, out of the space through its fluctuations. Everybody says they're too volatile to play this space. I don't buy that for a minute. Uh, hourly trend changes are the metrics for most equities in most sectors. Get the hourly trend change, and you can start looking up, moving up into the um, time frames to see when those trends changes. All right, goodbye. Over and out.